Hello and welcome back to another tutorial on EDIUS Pro and in this lesson we're going to take a look at how to import media into your project. This again is an elementary uh, lesson for people who are new to EDIUS. Let's start a new project and we're going to use the preset that uh, we set up in our last tutorial. Actually most of the footage that I shot for this project was shot in 4K. However there are some supplementary material that was only shot in HD. And uh, so we're going to edit the whole project in HD to accommodate that supplementary footage. Okay, well, let's just go select, double click on that, and we have just started a brand new project. Now, the first thing that you want to do when you first start a project is save it once. That way, EDIUS knows that you're serious about uh, this project, that you're going to really start working on it, and it's actually going to start saving it and start saving backups of it. So I'll just hit the Control S key and Edius will know that you are serious about this project. And in this lesson, we're going to import some material. Now, there's a couple of ways that uh, you can do this. Let's open up the hard drive where most of the material is located on, and that is called Uganda 2017. And here I have a folder inside the Uganda folder where I have placed a lot of the assets for this project. And if we opened up that folder, we'll see that I've actually created um, some subfolders and I think inside the camp videos even some more folders. So I've done a little organizing ahead of time. And if you have done that on your actual hard drive, on your computer, sorted some clips that way, then all you have to do is drag and drop that main folder into your bin window and EDIUS will start importing those, loading those up into the project. And in addition, it's going to sort all of your clips out just the way you sorted them on your hard drive and give us folders over here with all of the folders that we created on our hard drive. So if we go now into Camp Video and uh, take a look at Chores, well, we see uh, all of our shots there where these young girls are doing chores in their refugee camp. So that is one way to bring in clips. Just drag and drop your main folder that you may have sorted on your hard drive. However, as you continue your project, you'll no doubt have to import more media. And when you've got your EDIUS project open like this, you may find it easier to access your hard drives using the interface inside the program itself. And the icon that you're looking for is up here uh, with the kind of the open folder here. It's called Add Clip. And clicking on that will give you a dialog box where you can actually access all of the hard drives on your computer and search for the media that may be located on several different hard drives. Let's just uh, grab some more material here. I think I have more located here in the Uganda drive. Let's first of all uh, see which folder this is going into. For now, let's just take it right into the root drive. Oh, we see that the sequence folder is actually showing up right now in the root drive. I like to have sequences in their own folder. So if you want to just follow me here and do a new folder, just right click on the root drive, hit new folder, and then you can rename that. Let's go back to our root and then just drag that into our sequences. As I work on a typical project, I might create five or six sequences and I like to keep them together uh, in one folder. So that's why we do that. Now when I'm importing media, before I sort it out into the folders, I might just bring it into the root drive. So let's go after those missing files that weren't organized already in Uganda and here they are in videos. See we have quite a few here. So I'm just going to hit the control A key and select all those files. Hit open button down here and that'll bring in more video for our project. Now when you're sorting these clips into our uh, folders here and we may want to create some new folders as we go through these. I find it easier to see them represented more. Something like this with a thumbnail and the name. Alright, so my next step then would be to go through all of these clips and sort them into folders, kind of organizing my project so that when I actually sit down to edit, I'll be able to very quickly find the shots that I'm looking for to cover any spot in the narration or in the um, 
interviews that call for a specific shot, well, it'll be a lot easier to find my shot if they're organized into bins, or uh, we could call them folders here in this case, rather than having, you know, a thousand or two thousand shots all showing up in one folder, it'd just be very tedious to try and find your media that way. So it's a good thing to do when you first start a project is to import all your media and sort them. I won't go through all of these clips here in this tutorial, but just to give you an example, I'll uh, sort out a few here. We don't have a folder called camp shots so let's create one let's just go to the folder that uh, is called camp video and create a new folder to be inside that folder and let's call it camp shots now let's go back to our root and you can grab we can grab a number of uh, clips at the same time let's just scroll down and find where the camp shots kind of end I think they end about there so with your shift key held down select the last shot in that group and now you can see they're all selected, all of those shots. And now we can just drag and drop those into our camp shots folder. Okay, let's just do a couple more examples here. Okay, here was a group meeting at the refugee camp. So let's put those into their own little folder. Again, we'll create one camp video, right click on it, hit new folder and uh, meeting, let's call it. And go back. And the meeting shots, they kind of start here and go down to here before we start an interview. So again, with your shift key held down, point to the last clip and that selects all of those ones in that grouping. And then we can just by pointing to any one and holding the left mouse button down, drag and drop all of those clips into the meeting folder. Okay, here we have some interviews. Let's uh, grab all of those and drop them into the interviews folder. Here's another interview. So we'll just drag and drop those again into interviews. Well, you get the idea. All right, well, just want to show you one more way that you can bring media in uh, as you're working on a project. And that is, uh, let's say, open up um, some of our music folders here. I've got some on this drive here. Production music. All right, uh, what I wanted to show you is that any point in time, you can just run and grab a piece of media, whether it's video or audio, and just drag it right from your hard drive right over into your preview window. Just drop it in there, and there it is. And uh, let's maybe try the same with a piece of video. Let's go down to our Uganda folder again and go after one of these video clips and just try dragging and dropping that right into our play window. And there it is. So that is an option uh, you want to keep in mind uh, in case you might find that a little easier than actually going to the uh, EDIUS interface here and opening up the uh, hard drive system on your computer that way. I kind of prefer using the interface. Uh, I, th I just find it very intuitive and very easy to use looking for your hard drive just as you would in, in a Windows Explorer uh, window and uh, just going after what you need to get. All right, well, I believe that that uh, is what I wanted to show you on how to import media in EDIUS 9.